Hi guys, and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It is your girl Jay here, and in today's video, I wanted to try out a new foundation. I know I've been raving about the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. I took a trip again to Ulta Beauty, and I actually met a subscriber. I think her name was Sierra Asia. You know who you are. If you came up and spoke to me, you know who you are. I really appreciate you coming to speak to me. It was really such a great feeling. I really appreciate it. Such a sweetheart. Um, I'm just a regular other person out here. Just come and speak to me. Let's chat. We can talk about makeup. I mean, that's what I really know about. So we can talk about makeup. We can talk about whatever. Come and talk to me. I would love to talk to you guys. But anyway, I picked up the Maybelline Superstay Multi-Use Foundation Sticks. Now, of course, we have the, you know, we have the Super Stay 24-hour foundation, but this is the Super Stay foundation stick. Well, it says multi-purpose uh, foundation stick. Now, I'm not sure if this one is saying that it's 24 hours as well. From what I can tell, it does not say. But yeah, so I got a contour shade and I got a foundation shade, so I'm gonna use the both of them today, and we're just gonna see how that rolls out. But first, before I do that, just to stay in the family, I'm going to prime with this Master Prime from Maybelline. It's a primer and base. It's to hydrate and smooth, and it's in 050. And I got like a little small one because it came with like, I think after you spend a certain amount of money in Ulta, you get like a free gift. So this was part of like their little free gift. So I'm gonna go in with the foundation stick. This one is in the shade Golden 312. And as said before, Ulta usually has foundations that you can test. So I was swatching a bunch of these. Um, so hopefully I got the right shade. All right, so again, this is 312 Golden. Oh no! Okay, I didn't, I didn't ruin it, but you see what I did? I dropped it. I was trying to show you guys that I do have 312 Golden in this one. So if they're around the same shade, this one will definitely work. So let's see. So if sticks... Ooh, that's creamy. Ooh, that's creamy. You know, with the creamy stuff like this is, okay, let's do it. But you know, like with really creamy stuff, like if you're oily, then you'll know why I'm reacting like that because you know, creamy stuff is not our best friend. Um, it does come with an applicator on the other side, like a little sponge. I'm gonna spritz it. Well, let's just see what it's like without it. So off the back with the applicator, you're definitely gonna be blending for hours. I definitely don't like this applicator. That, I mean, it gives, uh, I'm gonna go in with a real technique sponge and let's just see how that operates. Cause you guys usually know I'm, I'm used to using a brush anyway. isn't my favorite but I mean I just feel like okay I definitely can say like brushes are definitely gonna be like your best friend for this type of foundation especially with like sticks just depending on the stick I would just recommend a brush every single time All right, I'm just gonna use this brush this one is from Bedellium tools a flat top brush all right, that definitely is better with the application because I'm seeing coverage now come into play. All right, what I will say, guys, is if you want, <laughs> I think this is definitely for someone who wants a more lighter, you know, like with sticks, you can definitely make it work. You can definitely, you know, just kind of, I feel like I look dead. This is definitely for someone if you want more of like a lighter coverage, just something like a little wash of color on the face. It's definitely something that you want to use. But if you're looking for coverage, just go with the foundation because this is bomb. I give this 110%. Like, that's really good. All right, I'm gonna use the contour one, and this one is in Warm Sun 334. And I actually got Warm Sun. Yeah, this one is Warm Sun, so I guess they kind of go together. But this one, of course, is too dark for me, just a tad, so I got this one for contour. All right, so let's see if we can warm up the face. But what I definitely can say is I love the creaminess of it. There's, they're definitely creamy. They're definitely something that you can work with and see if we can get something happening. But off the jump, I can definitely say this is not gonna be my best friend because I'm really oily and this is just, yeah, this is just not gonna go. Like the foundation is one thing, like the 
liquid foundation is one thing. All right, it doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't look that good either. Let me put on some concealer. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and just see. But I can say if you're dry, you might like it. It's very creamy. It seems really hydrating. I can just really see this like gonna like, like it's gonna break up on me. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. It says super stay, so I mean, I don't know if it's still saying for 24 hours or like not transferable. Like when you say super stay, like what does that mean? Okay, so with concealer, it doesn't look terrible. The coverage is nice. Like my little blemishes are covered. My moles are covered. And I can definitely say my skin looks very, very, very smooth. All right, you guys, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but I was trying to blend my concealer in and my powder and it's like everything is moving. This is what I was fearing with using this type of um, foundation. I could already tell by the texture that something was, I don't know. I just don't think this is the one for me. I feel like it may work if you were, you know, really dry on your skin, things like that. But as for me, I don't really think this is for me. And I honestly don't want to waste a day of wearing it around and just seeing what it's going to do. Because I don't know if you guys can tell on my nose, things aren't blending. My skin was looking smooth, but it's like as I was just blending everything else together. And maybe I was using my NARS concealer, so maybe the concealer, I don't mean, I don't know, it's just... I don't know, I don't like it, and as I said, I really don't wanna waste a day <laughs> wearing it, so I feel like this is kind of my verdict. Very transferable, like this is just gonna get everywhere. I don't, I don't know. If you're dry, I would not recommend this if you're oily, but if you're gonna go with Maybelline and you really like the color range or something, go with the foundations. The foundation is bomb, the foundation is full coverage. It mattifies down a little bit and it's really, really good. As far as this goes, I don't know. I, I maybe say, I don't know about this all over the face, but as far as the stick, it, if you really like a creamy stick type of feel, it may be nice to use for like contour. So if you go with a deeper shade or something, or you know, if this works, if this shade works good as a contour or something, it may be what you're really looking for, something that's really gonna melt and blend in like butter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it. And I'm just gonna have to start over with my makeup today. That's cool, this is what reviews are for. But the color, the color is definitely there and the coverage is there as well. So try it out for yourself, but as for me, I don't like it. I'm just gonna have to stick with what I, what I know. But as I'm wiping this off, thank you guys so much for watching. So as always, if you're new, I'm Jay. And if you're not new, I just thank you so much for supporting me with whatever I do here with my channel. I love each and every one of you to know in. And until next time, God willing, I will definitely start with my next video.